What's up, everybody? I'm Chanel Diane, and if you didn't know, I'm the vice president of Persuade Magazine, and I host my own show, Israel with Chanel Diane, associated with Outlet Films. So right now, I have an interview with Miss Tija Moses, who's the first lady of Maybach Music. Yeah, if you don't know Maybach Music, that's Rick Ross' label. She's the first lady. She's been in the game doing her music, and I got an interview with her right now. So. I mean, just keep it focused right now. I'm about to call, put it on speaker. Not like she's with me right now, but it is what it is. I'm about to call. You all could witness history in the making right now. Nelly Nell stepping it up. So it's on speaker right now, as y'all can see. I'm gonna figure it out. Dang, is my nice outside today? It's crazy. How you doing? Um, my name is Chanel Flage. I'm the vice president of Persuade Magazine. I have an interview with Miss Tedra Moses at three o'clock. Okay. Thank you. Hello. 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 How you doing? How you doing? This is Chanel Flage from Persuade Magazine. I have an interview with Miss Tedra Moses. How are you? How are you doing? All right, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Um, it's a pleasure. Thank you for taking out the time of your busy schedule to be interviewed. It's, you know, we're very honored. Oh, thank you. No problem. No problem. Yeah. <laughs> so we're gonna start this interview. Um, here's my first question. I mean, you came a long way to become an successful artist. I mean, you started as an assistant wardrobe stylist for artists like Will Smith, Khalees, R. Kelly, and No Doubt. Like, what made you pursue your career in music? Um. Fashion was never my passion, it was just something I was around and um, I was able to be a part of and um, I guess it was my way to um, get into the music industry without even knowing that it was my way to get into the music industry. Right. And uh, I just, um, I, I stopped doing it because it really wasn't my passion and, and started pursuing something that I was more passionate about. I actually broke my leg on one of the jobs. And um, decided that when I was on work with comp, I didn't really want to go back to doing something that I was just doing. Right. I didn't really just make money. I wasn't really passionate about it. And I decided to just pursue, um, pursue something else to gain money that I thought I might be more interested in. Right. Which I thought was, at the time, it, was, it probably seemed really stupid to people. Mm -hmm. Because there's no way to really generate money when you first start making music. Right. In my mind, so better to me to pursue something overall um, that I was interested in than to continue to do something that I just kind of was doing. Exactly. I'm a person that's an artist from the heart, so passion is very important. Right, exactly, and that's what it's all about. I mean, you have a remarkable resume when it comes to songwriting credits. Like, you work with Christina Milian's Dip It Low, Nivea Still In Love, Raphael Sadiq. I mean, how do you continue to bring versatility in your lyrics when it applies to writing songs for yourself and for writing songs for other artists? Um, at that time, I was just writing, 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 and I never thought about the, the idea of being a songwriter. Right. Because I was just writing songs for myself. I was just writing. It, to me, every song was for me, so um, it didn't. It wasn't something that I had to think about. Uh, eventually, after starting to write songs and then being placed with others, um, I started to become a writer for hire. Right. And that didn't work out as well for me. You know, I did it and right. I made money for it, but back to passion. I, I lost my passion. Right. For other people, more so because you have to conform yourself. Yeah. 
Mm-hmm. So I went a little bit deep underground. I didn't really, I didn't really have to think about, you know, the situation that I was in. Mm-hmm. I had to think about what the interesting because a part of you doing something is being passionate for it and I mean congratulations you're the first lady at made back music like kadoodles to you I mean I mean I'm happy for you I mean you can't you was in the game for a while I mean I remember your first album complex simplicity that came out in 2004 you had the video be your girl and you know you you always dished out that real music you know, I want to ask you something. Like, what made you stay so humble to the game? Because you've been out there putting out mixtapes and songs. I mean, you you dished out real music, and a lot of people are not aware of what you dish out. But what made you just still want to continue doing the singing? Like, did you know that you was going to get this far with your career? And... <laughs> <laughs> you know, I was just Right. 
Right. I never expected nothing. Because making enough money to take care of my kids. So, being that that's the fact, I'm able to, like, you know, feed my children, do what I love. That's all I, all the way I see it. Right. And I don't get me wrong. I want more success. And I want to make more money. Right. And I want to be, you know, and, and, and be able to have a light shine on my talent even more now. That's more passion for me. But right. in the end, I'm glorifying God by saying, you know, singing my song, writing from my heart. And saying it comes from him. Right. That's what I'm focused on. Right. I need to be and not focus on, oh, well, I'm comfortable, I'm getting here, I'm down now, I'm up now. I can't look at it like that. Yeah. I have to let everybody else perceive it like that. Right. I have to continue doing what God has anointed me to do. Yes, yes.